So, last two lecture we reviewed the work of Witten, and today, so I'm going to talk about the how the transformers theory is realized. I mean, it play, played a role in string theory, and uh, if you use duality, you can say something more uh, like a non-trivial thing in transformers theory, because uh, integral uh, integral conjecture, or recently we we, we proposed a positivity conjecture for refined transformer invariance. So that's w what I'm going to do today. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, got it. For example, you talked about connected sum. I have been to but not many people. Connected sum? Oh, okay, the last time. Okay. 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 Um. <coughs> okay. So the let's consider the following uh, the object. Um, let's consider the perturbation theory. The briefly talk about perturbation theory. Of the transformer theory. So the let's consider the free energy of the transformer theory of the manifold M, transformer manifold M, which is the log of the the transformer partition function over M, and uh, so we consider the U N gauge group. Okay. And it has the following form. Um, so the so the log of the z1 loop. So it has the following expansion plus sum of SL um, g gs to the l, where gs is given by two pi i over k plus n. Now for instance. The one, uh, when you take i is equal to one lemon, uh, uh, one, so this diagram, so so the transformer theory has the, for instance, trace of a which a which a. So it, there is a cubic cubic interaction, at, so you can cons you can connect the two cubic uh, interaction by propagator, and you get this one, and it has the the form of n square. Uh, sorry, n to the n square minus one, and the l equal when you equal one. This kind of diagram uh, contributes. Okay. And uh, to see more explicitly, let's consider propagator. Can you give us how you got these numbers? Okay, I will tell you. Um, so the Propagator is given by a uh, i j a, a k l, which is the uh, the proportional to g string. Uh, so g s is uh, later becomes string coupling actually. That's why I call it g string. Uh, I l g j k, and this part is schematically written as the this part is schematically written as this the fat graph I l. And JK, okay, fat graph. So this is a propagator for transformer theory. Um, and also there's a cubic. Yes. Okay. Yes. There's a two propagator. So what did you say? This. And it's come out of one. Um, and the cubic interaction, interaction, so that the, um, be because of this term, uh, so the trace of a which a which a, so that the <coughs> over 1 over gs, uh, I would say 1 over gs, it's proportional to 1 over gs, but uh, anyway. So the, the term should be 
Um, okay, so then AIJ, uh, AKI, and AJK. So this is a part graph you can assign at the cubic surface. Now, for instance, if you consider the following graph, um, following graph, this part graph. Um, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, this type of graph. Uh, this is actually proportional to, I mean. <laughs> It's straightforward exercise. You assign this. Uh, so this is the delta. Um, yeah. So this, you assign the. So this is n uh, cube, g s one actually. So this is proportional to one over g s actually. One over g s. Okay. One over g s. And so this, you assign this cubic, surf, uh, cubic uh, interaction into here, and you assign the, uh, the propagator and the sum over all indices, sum over all indices. And what you get is n cubed. And the GS term is there are three propagator and two interactions. So G cubed minus two is equal to GS. That's what's going to happen, okay? And this, so, as any question? So as you know, so the if you consider the the most of people working on the ADS CFT nodes as uh, like this way, uh, you can consider the following following graph. So this is a fat graph, but you cannot put it into the in a sphere. So this this fat graph can be put on a sphere, whereas this this cannot. Okay, and uh, this is proportional. If you do the same uh, same thing, uh, the, what you get is n proportional to n g to the one g. So therefore, and if you sum over everything, so this f chain Simons m, so f chain Simons m can be written in terms of following form. G is equal to zero to infinity sum of um, um, the h is equal to one to infinity. And uh, so f g h um, g s two g minus two plus h and the n to the h. Where the, so here, so so what G and H means the here, G is equal to 0 and H equal to 3. So there is a three boundary, okay, three boundary of the fat graph. So you, you just assign H. H means whole. H stands for whole. And G is a genus uh, of the surface where the, the fat graph can put on. Okay. And if you're careful enough and if you're good at drawing, so this uh, fat graph can be put in, an, uh, put on the genus one surface, and the H, the boundary is actually only one. Okay? So therefore, uh, this is actually equivalent to saying that the. Um, yeah, I think it's better not not to do this. Actually, <laughs> I'm not good at drawing, so <laughs> so if you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> and everything put in this form. And furthermore, so one can put this expansion as follows. G is equal to 0 to infinity. Uh, infinity is equal to n equal to 1. F uh, G uh, of T and G S to G minus 2, actually. Um, oh, maybe I, sh I should mention that the F G H and the T is equal to H. So H where the T is equal to 
uh, G, S, N. And the Kaplan people call this is hoof Kaplan. Kaplan. And also, uh, G, S is, so here, essentially 1 over, one over K. G, S is 1 over K. This is called string coupling. May, maybe perturbative coupling, what, whatever. And later, it plays the role of string coupling. So therefore, this, if you do the, the following expansion, the free energy, I mean, this is a, a natural thing to do in, yeah. Yeah, so the point, when you take n is equal to s cube, uh, so a, a three sphere, so this, the z transcendence uh, of n, is equal to S0, 0, okay? You say yeah. Expanded. I, I will explain it to you. Yes. Yes. So the, what we are considering is as follows. There is the M, whatever, uh, manifold M. And there is some path graph you can consider on the M, actually. You can consider path graph on the M. Um, oh, I see. I see what you mean. Uh. Oh, I see, I see. So the, you can put the uh, genus attached on the, yeah. That's what's going to happen. So the, there's a boundary or a hall, like this way. And you can consider the, the manifold M and the, and the Riemann surface is whose boundary is attached on this thing. Okay, so M is the boundary of some Riemann surface. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. But you can extend it to the some. Uh, the, so here you consider cotangent bundle, actually. That's what's going to happen. This is a whole manifold T star of M. And you consider the, uh, the, the open Riemann surface G of H to the T star of M, where the boundary of the Riemann surface is stick on M. That's what's going to happen. What? I will explain it to you. Also, how do you know these are unique? Depends upon how you draw the distance, no? What do you mean? You take, for example, that graph. Yes. Can you put on genus 1? But maybe you can also put it on genus 2, genus No, three, genus no, no. You cannot. You cannot. I don't understand, why? You. You should always be able to put something yeah. like that on higher right. than the surface, right? Because if you, you have that first graph. No, you cannot. But but how can you do that? This one cannot be put genus here. No, not, not this one. This one, the minimum genus you can put in is one. Okay. But that can be put in a higher surface. But how would you do that? I don't th I don't see that. I don't think you can do that. I think it's not a question of putting it on the higher surface. Proof. This what? Is a that needs a proof. Yeah, but I'm not going to explain a proof actually. <laughs> I rather proof of this larger and expansion. No, I, I just have a torus and I draw this on that. That's OK. That's not what it means. Right. So you fill up that uh, path, the propagator. That makes the space. You can, of course, draw the double path. That's not the, that's not how you get the genus subject. You fill up the path graph the way the propagator was drawn. Yeah. So let, let me move on, shall I? Yeah, just fine. Yeah. So it should be possible to see now here that picture that you have the boundary on the end. So for instance, let's let's put let's go. So the, for example. So when m is equal to S3, as the Sujay mentioned, 
Um, <coughs> so that, uh, as I told you, Z transforms of S3 is given by, um, so S00, okay, S00. And therefore, uh, and, uh, so when you consider a SUN, so let's consider SUN, SUN, S matrix, S U N S matrix, is to takes a following form. Um, uh, sum over of I mean uh, J is equal to one and minus one and uh, two times sine of pi times J K. Sorry. Yes. That second figure is actually Dora with the with the piece cut out, right? Yes, 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 yes. Is it possible to see the like the first one? Like no, I will leave it to exercise. I will leave it to exercise. This is equal to one, is equal to one? Yeah, it's equal to one. Okay, let, let, let me move on. Uh, so, the, so this is the SUN case. The, the S matrix is written here, like this way. Okay. And it, it turns out that one can, again, so the put this one is uh, the following. No, did you say? The following form, exponential sum of GH, um, FGH, um, uh, GS, uh, 2G minus 2, and the T, to the h, uh, where the so when you write uh, <coughs> f g of t, f g h of t, h as follows, um, is f g. Then f g of the um, takes a following form: modulus space of g. G minus one cube uh, minus chi g of the two g minus three factorial, and the sum of m is equal to one to infinity uh, m two g minus three e three. Two pi i, i, uh, m t. Okay, that's what's going to happen. So where the chi g? So I I, I should explain each term. So this is modular space of. So this is modular space of. Space of, uh, genus uh, Riemann surface surface of genus G, okay? And the C is G. So this is chunk class. So this is just chunk class. This is chunk class, okay? And the chi of G <coughs> is actually the, the order characters of, of this modular space of Riemann surface and which is written by as following form. Bg over 2g, 2g minus 2. And uh, where this is Bernoulli number. Um, <coughs> no, okay. So that's what's going to happen. Sum over h, sorry. T to the h. F of g t is sum over h. Is equal to one to infinity. Okay. So you can expand from 
one. So this this is <coughs> this function, okay, product of uh, the sine function can be put in this form actually, and somehow the modulus space of Riemann circles appears. So therefore, this strongly suggests that the there is some uh, the in the Chun sum. So this strongly suggests that the the Chun sum theory can be um, uh, can be uh, realized uh, as the open string theory. The, pa the whole partition function takes uh, the, the open string partition function. So this is the open string partition function. And this was done by Witten in 92, actually. And what he, what he considered the following setting. Um, I will explain it to you. I will later. So, this this is actually this takes the form of open string partition function, but if once you package into this form, this this is closed partition function, closed closed string uh, amplitude. So therefore, you need a, the open closed duality. I, that that what I'm going to explain to you. What well, Witten has considered as follows. Let's see. So, with, so, so I'm going to explain how, what the configuration of this witness configuration. So Witten considers the type 2A, um, I would say, let's, consider, let's directly go to M theory. Uh, that where the space time is given by S1 cross R4 cross uh, T star S3. Okay. And <coughs> so, the, so here, this one, T star, this is cotangent bundle of S3. Okay. So, which is the, the Calabria 3 4. This is a Calabria 3 4. So, so real six dimensional manifold. And this S1 can be considered M theory circle. M theory circle. I mean, T star of. T star of a compact oriented manifold is always Calabria. Uh, let's see. So the um, is the Cal always Calabria. There is a theorem. Because I can see the symplectic structure, yeah. but I can't see the complex structure. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry? Uh, I will explain it to you. Uh, so so the, the, this one can be realized as, as following form. Uh, I think uh, z square, uh, z2 square, z3 square, uh, z4 square is equal to t. Okay. All, so this can be considered as following. Okay. When the m3 is s3, uh, 3 sphere. And so F1 is an MC circle, and the total space time dimension is 11. Okay? 6 plus 4 plus 1 is 11. Okay? And you put the M5 ends. Okay. Uh, so I, I should mention that the, the first. Uh, 
So the, you have a 16 supercharges to start with. Okay, 16 supercharges start with if uh, the for type 2A theory, Suzy, uh, in 2A. But if you put the the Calabria 3 for it breaks to, sorry, 32, 32, and it breaks to the Calabria 3 for if you break the four supercharges, you put the su eight Suzy. Okay, you put the eight Suzy. So it has it, the space time preserve eight supercharges, and if you put the M5 brands, so but you you would like to preserve half supersymmetry. In that case, you have to put the to preserve supersymmetry. You have to put the Lagrangian sum multiple in Calabria three four. Okay, and in particular, I'm going to put S3 is a Calabria, uh, Lagrangian sum multiple. So therefore, if you put the M5 brand, it's further bright. If you put the M5 brands, uh, it preserves four supercharges in total. Okay. That's what's going to happen. So if you so S3 is a Lagrangian sum of four Calabria three four, and it preserves half supersymmetry, and it becomes four supersymmetry. Okay. Um, And so what we can consider is as follows. So you consider the T star S3, the, the most, the natural Calabria 3 4 coming from the three manifolds, the cotangent of S3 sphere, uh, the M, uh, M3. You consider open string, so there's, there's S3, or you can generalize to even uh, three manifold M3. And you consider the, again, as I wrote before, op Open string theory. Okay, open string theory. And in particular, so we can uh, show that the, I'm not going to explain to you that. So there's the open string field theory, QBRST, uh, psi. So the the action of the open string is given by as follows: the psi star product psi psi uh, one third. And one half uh, trace of psi. Okay. So the action of the open string field theory is given by like this the action is action of the open string theory field theory is given by here, where psi is given by C of Q plus chi A of the A um, Q and apply chi A, chi B, B, A, B, Q, and dot, dot, dot. Okay. <coughs> so where the A is a gauge field, uh, gauge field. Uh, and the uh, chi A and, uh, sorry, I should mention. Um, this is open, open string field, open string. What? It's, it has a boundary. Because, I mean, you, you wrap N and, so I, I should say N, sorry, N and five brains. And there is an M5 and wraps on S3, actually. This is T star S3. And uh, if you have a brain, so the, the Riemann surface string can end on the brain. There is a string. You have to say M2 brain. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in this case, M2 brain. OK. Yeah, this is M2 brain. Yes. Yeah, two element. So, so, so first we can consider two element where the S, you shrink S1, okay? And the uh, M5 brings a D4, and this string uh, becomes fundamental string, yeah. Yeah, fundamental string. Um, 
Um, yeah. This one. But I just uplifted to the M theory, right? And so what Whitney showed that the, if you localize to the, the S3 of the, I'm not going to explain. This is, the, this is I think, uh, it's written in the Whitney's paper. It's really, so you just take the, the gauge theory part, and then what you get is the, uh, this is open string, open string, field theory, string field theory, open string field theory. And uh, if you localize to the S3, what you get is the s chun Simons. You just get the S chun Simons part. Uh, so there is a G string, G string here, uh, the K over 4 pi, A D A plus 2 thirds, uh, A Q. Um, you, you just look at the dynamics on the on the S3 part. Okay. So that's what Whitney uh, showed. I'm not going to explain to the, that one. Though. Be, I mean, it, partly I just don't understand fully. And also, if you explain it to you, I mean, it takes like one and a half hours. So that's let's accept that. Okay. So therefore, so if you look at the, this part, if you look at this part, so you can realize the, the as a brain the chun sign. When you take type two element, yes. But uh, yeah, so my first, that was my question is that when you take the type two element, uh -huh. you get a proper full fledged string construct. Okay. What what is the status of that? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the what we show that this is uh, the so you have a chun sound theory on S three, okay. And so as I mentioned to you, so you can realize uh, you can consider also Wilson loop in chun sound theory. Uh, let's instead of So you can also consider the knot in S3. So there is the N M5 branch, Rapson. And to create the, the Wilson loop defect, so this is defect. Defect usually can be uh, realized at, at the intersection brain. So if you consider the knot, knot like this way, and then so you just consider, so th this is K. You just consider N of K, N sub K. <coughs> You put another M5 range. Okay. Uh, if you want to uh, include a knot, um, so where NK is a uh, normal bundle over K, which means as follows. Uh, this is defined by as follows, Q of S and P uh, inside a T star S3. Okay, Q and P are the standard uh, coordinate. Q span, Q is a coordinate of the S3. Okay, Q is a coordinate of S3 direction, and P is the, the the five, the coordinate five direction, okay. Uh, coordinate five direction, five, cotangent five. That's natural. I mean, it's just classical mechanics, okay. And so when you take Q, this S means that the um, Q. Q is S1 cross S3. So this parameter is not, actually. Q is parameter is not, OK? So this is the parameter S is mapped to Q of S, OK? Q of S. And you can take a speed, S1 
speed. Speed means the vector field here. So it's just Q of uh, Q dot P S is this direction. And this Q dot S uh, should be uh, actually, <coughs> you can take the, uh, the, is a vector. So therefore, you can take a pairing of the, the cotangent, cotangent, cotangent uh, direction and the vector, vector field. It is a natural pairing. And this should be zero. So that's a definition of conormal bundle over that case. And why do you need this condition? The, the reason you, why you need this condition is actually the NK is uh, T star S3 is the Lagrangian sum manifold. Of, okay, of T star S3. So to, to preserve half of supersymmetry, the, you always need to put the Lagrangian sum multiple inside, inside of T star S3. Okay. So therefore, if it is a Lagrangian sum multiple, you can put any brain. Uh, so, okay. Yes, yeah, special Lagrangian. Yeah, special. Special Lagrangian. Volume is minimizing. So special Lagrangian. And this Konoma bundle <coughs> is actually special Lagrangian sum multiple instead of T size 3. So therefore, whole system still preserves four supercharges. Okay. And the later, uh, I will explain to you as uh, the, the 3D, 3D correspondence. And this brain setup appears in the 3D, 3D correspondence. So if you look at the theory living on here, uh, so if you look at the theory living in here, you get the 3D and you got two theory. Okay, 3D and you got two theory, it has a four supercharge. Because the whole system preserves four supercharges. Okay. And uh, the, on the other ha side, you have a uh, chill sum. Sorry. Yes. So transformer theory, but you need a, def a defect to, yeah, to, to realize, uh, uh, to realize uh, the Wilson loop. Okay. And the, this defect is always realized intersection between Konoma bundle and S3. And where is the Question. Um, good question. So the representation. No, no, actually. So from here, I, I will explain to you uh, later. Um, you get the generating function of the the transformer in bands. Essentially, what's going to happen as follows. Uh, in topological string partition function, it's given by, so V, I will say, uh, this is called Deform conifold, deform conifold is as follows. The 
Jones polynomial are la are the definition R and not K and Q and the sure function of R of X okay, and summation R. Okay. So that's what's going to happen. So this is uh, the, this is sure function. Function, and this is the uh, this is equal to uh, Wilson loose expectation value of not k uh, with representation. Okay. And uh, the topological partition function with this configuration is nothing but generating function of the chern sum invariants, where the, the weight is given by show function, and the x is actually uh, parameterized open string moduli, open string moduli here. And it's when you take M, M, so capital N, capital N, when you take M, M5, and, um, what you're going to get, yeah, so the, so the summation R is given as follows, so let's see, yeah. So summation R is a summation of the Young tableau, but the the height is should be m, yeah, number of m. Okay. But if, so if you put the single m, I would say m m five prime brain. So to distinguish uh, to m five brains, if you put the single m five prime brain, so you just have the the summation of a single row when m is equal to one case. So this summation is the Jones of the number of box, let's call a small n. Small n is equal to uh, 0 to infinity, the x to the n. X to the n. When m is equal to 1. Because it's only single box, uh, single row is allowed. But when you add more brain, m and five prime brains, so you can have height. What's the height? That's what's going to happen. Does it answer to your question about representation? Okay. So the, the x to the n, so the sure function of single row of x is given by x to the n. Oh, I see, I see. So here, here, here you get the, strictly speaking, you get the UN churn sum theory. Okay? UN churn sum theory. But the, the difference between SUN and the UN only, uh, UN and the SUN churn sum invariant differ only like a framing number and the linking number. So it doesn't play so much role. Um, <coughs> And another question, uh, your question is the, even if you put that many brain, uh, you always, if you put the only single brain or for M5, M5 prime brain, you get the only summation over a single row. Okay, that's, but whereas this J is U and invariance, that's what's going to happen. Any other question? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, they two flat one. And it, I only got the cot on the one, not on the one. Yeah, but this is two for both transient and cot. Yeah. Okay, that's that's true. But I just take t star of S three as a calabial, the particular metric. I'm going to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can give you some hand waving argument what, why this is the case. Um, so what? So this is what uh, the Ogre buffer shows. So this is uh, Obi Buffer mentioned. Uh, so the, this Z deformed is given by exponential of trace of log one minus uh, trace uh, u times b, where u is a holonomy of u of m. And B is a holonomy uh, of U of M. Okay. So this is actually given by one loop. This is a form of one loop determinant. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Okay. U N and U M. Um, so this is one loop determinant by integrated out. The, the the M2 brain stretch in between. So there's the M2 brain is stretched between. So this is for M2 brain. And it are uh, M2 brains. It has both holonomy U and B. U and B. And it's massive. So if you integrate out, it's uh, the massive field. So you get this partition function. And this is essentially nothing but a trace of u to the n, uh, trace of b to the r, where r. So this is the, uh, the just straightforward calculation. Of and this tr trace of u is not, so as I mentioned to you, trace of u is the, if you do that along not k, this is the chern simons partition function not k, and this is just a sure function, sure function of x is a carton of tr uh, tr matrix B. OK. okay. Any other questions? Okay, so the, if you consider the link, so link case is as follows. So the, if you consider the link, um, so this is a knot, uh, the case of knot. K is knot. And if you consider link case, uh, link case, link. Uh, so the the Z deformed partition function. So why is it called? This is called deformed. Some often called deformed. Deformed. Conical. Z of deformed is as follows: R one, R L, J R one of R L, of link, and Q, and the show function. R1 of x1, show function, RL, xl. 
So you just assign it. So at each component, you just assign a lot of, lots of Konoma bundle for each component of link. That's what's going to happen. And the X1 and the XL are open moduli of these, these flavor group. Any question? Any other questions? Okay. <coughs> so let Okay, furthermore, so the Gopakuma buffer showed as follows. If you take large n, so large n means this n. Okay? If you take large n, okay, so large n limit of this configuration, so this is done by uh, the Gopakuma buffer. Uh, yeah, now already like 20 years ago. Actually, so the, the M5 is really uh, the heavy object. So if you wrap the lots of the M5 on the S3, S3 shrinks, and the other direction actually appears. So the space time, S1 cross R4 cross uh, the, the I, I would say capital X. Well, capital X is actually total space of O minus one plus O minus one over P one, log CP one, or S two, okay? This is the same as S two. So geometry undergoes uh, transition and this and and five ends disappear and it turned into the flux supported on C, uh, CP1. Whereas this, the problem, I would say, and problem still remains. M5 prime brains remains as follows. Two cross LK. Well, this Lagrange, also a special Lagrangian, I would say, special uh, Lagrangian subvariety of the capital X. Okay. And this capital X is often called resolved conform. Okay. Resolved conform. So this, this, this part, when you take large n limit, so this n and 5n disappear, and it turns into the flux supported on CP1. And it seems that the geometry undergoes transition when you take large n. So some, often it's called geometric transition. transition. Oh. So in schematically the people often write the following form. S3, S2, um, so capital N. So the there is a T star of S3, cotangent by S3 is written like this way. And uh, when you take large n, so n m 5 and wraps on S3 direction, this S3, okay? And when you take large n limit, uh, geometry becomes like this way, S3. So this S3 shrinks, S3 shrinks, and the other direction di appears.
And uh, often, I don't know, so this becomes flux supported on S2, okay. the PQ. And, it, okay. and it's, so this toric, uh, result corner for is often the toric diagram is like this way. It's called toric diagram. And uh, LLK is the often right like this way. It has a, some configuration. And this large n duality can be seen as a following form. Um, so the, the large n duality, so this geometric transition large n duality is a G deformed conifer uh, of partition function, which depends on Q. Uh, Q. Q is, uh, of course, e to, the, e to the pi i over k plus n in this case. But you take large n limit. This is un, so un. So limit of large n limit and is equal to z resolve conifer of the, the, the partition function, which depends on a and q, uh, where q to the n is fixed to the a. Okay. So a, what is a? A is the Kela parameter. Uh, Kela parameter. parameter, and uh, this is uh, so therefore a is equal to equal to e to the volume of CP one minus CP. Okay. On, the, on the left, it's this spring time. Oh. Yes. So I call uh, the, the uh, so Q is the e to the g string, um, and it yeah e, e to the g string. I would say minus, and uh, so this is equal to e to the minus g s and to the n. So this is so I call t foot parameter. This is t, right? This foot parameter in the the, uh, the perturbation theory I talk about is uh, nothing but the Keller parameter of the CP1. Um, so. I would say that 2 pi i over k plus n is minus g string. I don't know. Okay. So <coughs> and if there is no Wilson loop, if there is no Wilson loop, this side is the, the closed string. Okay. So therefore, sometimes if there is no Wilson loop, this is called also open cross uh, duality. So this is another instance of large n duality. Okay, good question. Um,
the how do I calculate result? Uh, there are many ways to calculate uh, the Z result. <coughs> the one is the, as I mentioned to you, so the, when you take S3, so this is what, what I showed to you. Uh, 1 over K plus N over N over 2 and the sum of j is equal to 1, n minus 1, um, 2 times sine pi j over k plus n. So n minus j. Okay. So this is the when f, uh, the this is the, the partition function of z chun summons, z uh, chun summons of S3. And this is actually equal to exponential of the sum of g, fg of t, of uh, g string, 2g minus 2, such that the fg of t of t is given by um, mg chun class 3, g minus 1, uh, minus chi g over 2g minus 3, um, sum of n 2g minus 2, oh sorry, 3, e3, 2 pi i, t, oh sorry, n, n is equal to, um, one to infinity. Okay. And this is clearly the, the, the form of a closed string. Okay. So with the absence of M5 prime brands, so you get the tune symmetry on S3. And on the other hand, you have a uh, just partition function result conifer, and which is a closed string amplitude. And this can be ob uh, obtained several ways. So for instance, the one way to compute this one is topological vertex. Uh, for instance, 0, 0, uh, whatever, partition of lambda, 0, 0. So therefore, so the, this partition function is given by sum of uh, C0, 0, lambda, C lambda, uh, T0, 0, and A to the uh, lambda. So C is topological vertex. Yeah, both are the same. Yeah. When you take large element, sorry. So limit n goes to infinity, and uh, so this identification, this identification. And another way to show that this the Topological partition function is as follows. So if you do that, if you compactify the, the, the partition function x, you get the, OK, so, so, so without M5 brains, M5 prime brains, it prints the eight supercharges, OK? The space that, so there is no uh, the M5 brains. So this, the theory presents eight supercharges. So therefore, the theory living on here has a 5D, uh, I would say, the su supersymmetry. Half of, half of. I don't think so. Because I mean, here you have a uh, 5D super, super symmetry, uh, a Suji theory, theory with the eight supercharges by, by geometry engineering. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay.
I don't think so. There is an enhancement with absence, without any absence of M5 brains, M5 prime brains. So if you consider, the, if you compact from the resolve for you get the U1, yeah, I would say U1. U1 5D supersymmetry with the eight supercharges. Okay, okay. This doesn't break? OK. OK, let, let me check uh, later. OK. Yeah, I think it breaks. But I think if you take large and limited, uh, there's an enhancement. OK. Yeah, but then you can Anyway, so the, you, can, you can use the you can compute, you can use the all. You're right, you're right. There's a, here, flux should break the half symmetry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Half symmetry, yeah, half supersymmetry. Yeah, four supercharges, sorry. Four supercharges. Okay. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, but still, you can compute the. Like, can you use the yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. And it, one can perform a necklace of partition function. Uh, so this is U1 necklace of partition function, nothing but uh, the, the generative function, equivalent cohomology of the uh, Hebrew scheme points. And then one can compute. Uh, this uh, the partition function. It turns out that the, this one is equal to minus q square. Uh, I would say uh, you get this one. So this is the uh, necklace of partition function. What? This one? Ah, uh, the, the epsilon deformation is the, the coming here. And it's the same as the putting the, the self, anti-self to your graph photon background. So you put the anti-self to your yeah, graph background, then it's the same as the omega deformation with the, the parameter change. Uh, okay, so therefore, so this is large and duality. Now this is can be considered geom uh, geometric engineering. Uh, uh, engineering. So geometric engineering is when you compact by two a theory. Uh, on the S1 cross R4 cross some carabial toric, toric carabial 3 4. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, or M theory, M theory. On the, if you compact that on toric carabial 3 4, you get the 5D uh, gauge theory. Uh, on S1 cross R4, uh, and the matter content is specified by Calabria 3 4. Okay. Calabria 3 4. So this one, the result corner 4 is U1 gauge field, and if you consider local P1 cross P1, you get the S U2, and so on. U2, 
And uh, if you have a many, like a full cycle, you get the U3 and so on. So that's called U3 5D, everything 5D, 5D gate theory. And uh, in this case, there's no matters. The pure young man. What do you mean probe of geometry? I don't understand your question, sorry. Uh -huh. Ah, but the, the gravity photon background is fixed uh, by, by other self dual with the constant GS. So, um, let me. Uh, okay, let, let me explain to you. Um, so the <coughs> so if you do the honest honest string perturbation theory, this resolve conifer. Then you get as follows. Uh, the honest string perturbation theory, you get the uh, f of g of x. This is a curve here. Uh, let's go phi in the case. Phi of lambda, uh, w a b, w a b, yeah. where the um, so phi is Kara super field, and this one is the um, the gravity photon. Yeah, gravity photon. And two dg. Okay, and WAB has the following form: TAB um, minus R. A, B, C, D, Seder A, and, oh, sorry, Seder C, D, um, Seder. Okay. And this T, A, B has a following form. They the G, S, G, S, inverse, um, uh, minus G, S, and G, S. Okay. The following form. <laughs> then, so this GS is the same as the omega background on R4, in the R4. And if you reduce to the compact on S4, uh, just give you just case here, the fixed background. Yes, yes, yes. 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 This one is just a ordinary string perturbation, cross string perturbation theory. Why is there no gravity photon in the resolve gone for? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. 
What, what, what is this something else? Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, okay, okay. Now I can tell you. Um, I see what you mean. Okay, so then, okay. Uh, let's erase this one, this part. Okay, so this, now I understand what you mean. Uh, so this, this will give you us a GS 2G minus 2, and sum is D to the 4, X and R, R square, and FG of lowest component, the phi. Let's go phi lambda. Um, so if you plug in, this one into here. So then the lowest component will give you 2G minus 2. And the second component, R, will give you, you just integrate this one with the, the second, second component. And you get the R square. And plus times the FG, uh, FG object. They say ho uh, holomorphic free, uh, free energy. And this is exactly will give you this term. That what's going to happen? Sum of G is yeah. and it, this is this is nothing but this this, this FG. This this integral is nothing but FG, and the features give me. Yes. So this graph photon, I mean, that em I think it, that embedding from the topological string to ordinary just bosonic string theory, like uh, not bosonic, super string theory. So this, um, when you, yeah, when you do the, the embed the topological string theory into the ordinary bosonic, uh, ordinary super, super string to, to a theory. So this FG is a topological string amplitude and uh, the topological string coupling is identified gravity photon. I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Okay, when did I start? Ten minutes, Ten minutes. okay. <laughs> um Okay, so so that's what's going to happen in the in the in the without M five prime brain. Okay. Okay, so this is the essentially the this is the Ogre buffer. This is uh, sorry, Gopakuma buffer. This is Gopakuma buffer. Uh, Gopakuma. Yeah, M five prime brains. Yeah, or buffer. And this is geometric transition. 
Ah, Jim Engineering, sorry. Engineering. It's cuts and clam and buffer. Okay. Uh, both are eight, around 98, around 98. Okay, so almost 20 years ago. And then now I'm going to explain how this <coughs> GMAC transition can be, can be seen in the presence of M5 prime brains. Okay, and before that, uh, let's let me and also I'm I would like to talk about the more recent stuff. So I just want to consider the, the refined topological string theory, and the refined topological string theory uh, will follow as follows uh, follows uh, in the following thing. Instead of consider the the ordinary so we have we consider R4 is the is found by uh, C2 the coordinate of R4 is just uh, R4 is C2 And so the, there is a, some equivalent like U1 cross U1, U1 Q cross U1 T action on C2 in such a way that the Z1, Z2 is uh, the U1 equivalent action T, Z2 inverse, okay? So this Q and T will give you uh, actually fine topological string. Uh, I will explain to you. So, so this the story of Gopakuma Bafa and Og Bafa is already 20 years ago. And I just want to uh, make a progress from them. So I just want to consider a refined topological string. Then the story becomes much more interesting. Um, and so, so you just put the Q plane, Q plane, and the Q plane. So I just consider the Z, Z1 plane. You just put the G1 plane and five brains on the G, G1 plane, okay? Inside R4. Okay. <coughs> then, uh, I just want to preserve this uh, black box. Can I, okay, yes. Um, then the both, the Z deform uh, of the and T, oh, sorry, so and then the refined topology, when Q is equal to T element, when Q equal to T element is the, uh, is the unrefined limit, which means the, it, it reduces the ordinary topological string, ordinary topological string. So in other words, when I write this TAB, TAB is F G S. Yes, I think I, I write like this way. So this is ordinary string theory, a topological string theory. And uh, if you do the refine topological string theory, I just upgrade it like this way. Um, so 
So that's what Negroso calls it. So this is refinement. Then, uh, so C deform conical depends on Q and T, and take U n limit, uh, and it goes to infinity, and T to the n is fixed to Q in this case. And as Z resolve conical A and Q and A and Q depends. Oh, 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 A, sorry. Okay. It's fixed. I just want to consider the following set. And it, both series had its not. I haven't defined it yet, the both series side. And uh, this theory, so this is defined by Aganavich. In Shakyo, in the I think eleven, I think as far as I remember, in eleven, so-called refined Chun Sang theory. And uh, what they did as follows: so we don't know the action. So we don't know the action of the, the churn, refined churn summer theory. So, they, so we look at the UN churn summer theory in the case of the unrefined case, uh, unrefined case, but we don't know the, the, the action of refined churn summer theory. Whereas they define uh, the refined churn summer theory by looking at this theory, actually, 3D n of 2 theory. And they, def they define the refined Chen Simons partition function. I will say Z Chen Simons, refined Chen Simons partition function of M3 as a trace of 1 to the F um, Q3 J1 minus SR and T3 SR minus J2. So this is the 3D n equal to 2 index. Okay. So where the, I, I have to mention what's J1 and J2 and SR. So J1 is the, the carton of SO3. Lorentz group, SO2,1 is going also. SO3 means the space-time symmetry of S1 cross R2. And J2 is U1 R symmetry. U1 R symmetry. So the n equal to theory always has the U1 R symmetry. And I imagine Shakirov mentioned that when M3 is this actually cipher manifold. Yeah, I will explain to you. That's what I'm going to do. Cipher manifold. Cipher manifold is as follows. There's the S1 bundle. M3 over Riemann surface G. Okay. Cipher surface is the S1 bundle over a Riemann surface G. Uh, there's a U1 action on the fiber. Okay. That geometry of U1 action can be seen in 3D n equal 2 theory, living on S1 cross R. R2. So therefore, this SR is the charges of the 
uh, charges u1 uh, extra u1 global symmetry, global flavor, whichever symmetry coming from S1. And when you take Q, so for example, when you take Q equal to T, T limit, what you get is as follows. Z, so the, when you take only found limit, becomes trace of minus 1 to the F, uh, Q to the J1 minus J2, J1 minus J2. And it, I mean, it's, uh, it just depends on notation. But um, <coughs> usually people write this one is the J1 j minus r over 2 in field theory community, q3. Uh, j is a carton of Lorentz SO3, and r is r symmetry. Uh, so this is just ordinary, ordinary 3D n equal to 3D n equal to 2 index, which appears in any literature, uh, like a I would say like a uh, um, Imamura and uh, Imamura Yokoyama and also I think Tira uh, Dimofte and so on consider the three angle two index. Uh, they, what they consider this index, but this index is actually three refine. I would say refine three angle two index by adding extra So the on the oh, yeah on this side there is no action is not known. So intrinsic difference. They just use the, the dual theory using M5. Okay. Okay. I think I already ran out of time. So the, I think in the next lecture, I would like to explain how you compute this side and also how you compute this side. And uh, so this is called refined chain. Uh, so this side is called refined chain summing bands. And this side, what you, you can compute by, you can determine the form of partition function by studying PPS spectrum of the uh, 3D n equal 2 theory, actually. And, uh, from this, so the next time we will co uh, consider positivity, and this identity will lead us to the lead us to positivity conjecture of refine chain symmetry. That's the next time I like to explain this part. At least. Half of the form. Any questions?